everyone this is Rishu from I love free software and today I'm going to show you how to annotate a web page using MS Edge. By default Microsoft Edge comes with a various options to draw doodles, highlight areas and add notes to web pages. Let me walk you through how you can annotate a web page. First of all open Microsoft Edge browser and open any web page. Now you can see a added symbol saying make a web node. Simply click on it. As soon as you do that, you will see a toolbar in place of the address bar. Where the first option is a pen, second is highlighter, third is an eraser, fourth is add a note and the last one is a clip. So let's select the pen and write something on the web page. You can choose any color to write. You can also choose to select a desired size of the pen. Now let's select the highlighter and highlight something on the page. For the highlighter also, you can select a desired color and size. Now suppose if you want to erase any of the changes made till now, just select the eraser and while pressing the left key of the mouse, erase anything that you don't like. You can also erase all the changes at once. Just click on the eraser icon to expand it and then click on clear all ink. All the annotations made via pen and highlighter will be erased at once. Cool. Now let's go to the web page and add a note. Just click on the message icon and tap on any word where you want to add a note. You will see a box, write your note and then click on the collapse box. Similarly, you can add as many notes as you want. Once done, you will see a small box over every word. Where you have added a note, just click that, you will see the note. Now, the last tool that you see is the clip. So, if you want to copy any part of the web page, just click on the clip icon and select any area. That particular area will be automatically copied to the clipboard. Just paste it on MS Paint and save it from there. Now, if you wish to share this file, just click on the share icon and select the app via which you want to share. You can also save this page with annotations. Just click on the save icon and then OK. Your file will be saved on OneNote. To view the web page, simply go to OneNote and view it from there. In this way, you can annotate a web page using a message. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and share with your friends. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe I Love Free Software TV for more tips and tricks. Bye for now.